spoken to you since yesterday um, I had the absolute best time in Portsmouth I didn't really speak much I sort of just showed you a little bit of the scenery but it was absolutely amazing um, we celebrated Louis graduation which is Aiden's brother and he got a first class honours which is absolutely amazing so I was so proud of him and we had a lovely day celebrating went for a meal with his grandparents and parents and stuff and yeah we just had a really good time so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of footage it was my first ever graduation my heart was so full seeing all these parents families relatives being so happy and proud of their student for graduating I guess so yeah it was just one of the most amazing days it's made me so excited and so motivated to try and get a first next year I'm gonna try my hardest but I, like I said I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself but yeah anyway today I am doing a whole productive day of getting shit done and then I'm rewarding myself later with a gym session and a wagamama's <laughs> um probably not the best combination but I don't really care I'm gonna go with Megan and Lucia who near Meg were with Lucia when we were in Manchester last month um so yeah you guys have seen her before but yeah we're gonna go into town my little shitty town to go grab all the essentials I need for Guatemala and I also need to sort out my brother's 18th birthday present because he turns 18 while I'm in Guatemala so I need to prep everything and this is the only day I've got to do it so wish me luck right so I've just got back from town and I've got a few bits and pieces for my trip to Guatemala so I just basically ran loads of errands in town sorry I didn't film it I was sort of like in a rush just doing lots of bits and pieces um, but I've got my favourite shampoo and conditioner, the Garnier Ultimate Blend. This is absolutely incredible if you have really dry dry hair and just need a lot of restoration. Um, I'm taking these to Guatemala. They're going to be so good because of the hot weather as well. Then I got this Radox. This is new. Radox. Um, it's like passion fruit scented shower and shave shower mousse. So I'm going to be taking that to Guatemala with me. I've got some Garnier clean protect transparent protectant protectant spray obviously SPF 50 to look after my skin and then I've got some after sun because I probably will burn at some point um and then I've got some Imodium lol because I've been told to bring um lots of bits and pieces to look after ourselves while we're there 
um, in case of accidents. Then I've got a mini toothpaste, and then I also bought a foundation because my NARS one's just ran out, and I can't afford to replace it. So I went for this Rimmel one. I used to use it a lot, so hopefully it does me wonders and isn't too drying on my skin. I've got my brother some presents and stuff, but I don't want to show it on here because he watches my vlogs, and I don't want to ruin his birthday surprise, so his presents are all in there, and I also got him one from Barney, which is so cute. <laughs> Right, so I have had a very super productive day. Um, me, Megan and Lucia actually went to the gym. Um, we did a good like bum leg session, a bit of cardio as well, and we were dripping with sweat. Like we came out, we smell, we would like, oh, it just was horrible. Um, but I felt so good afterwards. I always, I also saw Aiden's mum in there, so we had a little chat with her. Um, but yeah, it was so, so lovely. Such a, an amazing day. It's been super productive, but I've also had like a really good time. So I'm just feeling blessed. Um, got all the bits and pieces I needed to do in town, which is great. So I'm feeling very happy. I'm gonna definitely sit down and reward myself with Love Island. We also went for a Wagamama's afterwards, which is kind of also a reward, but Wagamama's is healthy, sort of. <laughs> Lol, um, it's not, but yeah, we tried out, I can't remember what it was called, but they were these like bread crumb prawns that were incredible. Um, from the side dishes, we had like three sides. It's like starters between us, like to share. Um, chili squid as always. And what else did we have? Oh, chicken gyoza, which is my favourite. I absolutely love that stuff. Then we all had chicken ramen. Life is good. I've had a very productive day. I don't know. Um, I think I might continue the vlog later on in the week when I'm not working um, to do some more Guatemala prep. But I am absolutely buzzing now. There's only a few more bits and pieces I need to get sorted. Um, but it's all feeling a lot more real now. I can't believe we're going to be going soon. Me and Neve were talking today. Um, Neve is like my close friend on my forensics course and she's coming to stay with me on Saturday night, the night before we go to Heathrow. My dad's dropping us at the airport and we were just talking about how anxious we were about the whole thing because we're going to be, not only are we going to be travelling for hours and hours but there were just so many things that could go wrong on a trip like this so we were getting a bit worked up but I'm trying to live in the moment, trying to chill myself out, um, it's going to be fine um, and yeah we'll be fine as long as we've got each other. It's got so much, I feel like I've got so much to do and so little time to do it, it's come around so quickly and I'm very just, mm, I don't know. The vlogs will be so cool and I just can't wait to share this whole journey with you because at least we'll be able to share the fuck ups with you guys. It inevitably will not happen smoothly. <laughs> so it's Thursday the 18th of July. Um, it's my last shift of July today. So I'm absolutely buzzing because that means from now on there will be so much vlogging because I'm going to be heading to Guatemala in a couple of days. I literally cannot wait. Um, most of you will know that I am going with my university on a trip to Guatemala. I've been pre preparing for it the, the rest of the week um, and I'm just so, so excited to share with you like all my thoughts and feelings throughout the whole thing. I'm feeling super nervous at the minute because there's just so many things that go wrong and I'm worried that I'm going to forget something crucial and bits and pieces and I'm just worried about the whole visa situation because I had to buy a visa and um, like it's called an Esther and I had to buy it buy it before I go because I'm actually going to an American airport and then I'm going from America to Guatemala in Central America so I've had to buy a visa f just because I'm like switching airlines if you know what I mean so I'm just worried that that won't go smoothly I just I don't know there's just so many things that are going wrong and it's just freaking me out a little bit I'm gonna be honest because I don't want it to seem like because on my Instagram I just show like the highlights of what I'm doing in a day or when I'm traveling or doing whatever I do um I don't show as much of like the anxious side of me on my Instagram which I definitely want to do more of of course but I don't want to like shove it in everyone's faces as if I'm trying to show off about it as well it's just finding that nice balance where you're not going to annoy too many people but at the end of the day I am not doing it for that reason I'm doing it for other people who have similar feelings to me to feel more comfortable so ah, anyway I'm going to head off to work because um, I'm going to be late otherwise and I will see you possibly this evening we might go take the dogs out for a walk again that's what we've been doing the past couple of nights after we've come back from work and it's been so lovely we've been bonding Barney and Arlo Megan's dog and it's been the cutest thing so we might do that again later it's now Thursday evening um back from my long shift decided to just quickly have dinner and take the dog out for the walk for a walk again it was really lovely yesterday and I'm finding that walking the dog in the evenings making me a lot less stressed 
um, especially like it's nice before I go to bed because I'm all relaxed and sort of like worn out so it helps you get to sleep better. I've been really enjoying that. It's also been calming my anxiety about the Guatemala trip so I've been thoroughly enjoying that. Yeah, yeah smile at the dog. Like... That's so cute. Everyone loves Barney, don't they? I feel like everyone always stops. Ow. Especially when we, basically when we, we have like a mini Tesco's near us that David works at. If I stand outside with Barney, everyone always stops, asks how old he is, touches him, cuddles him, gives him all the fuss. He loves it though. He's so Love confident. It, He's so confident around people though, isn't he? I feel. Yeah. He's just a little bit nervous around dogs. Like when um, Arlo, Megan's dog and Barney first met, they were honestly so crazy because Arlo is so sweet, but he's just a massive dog and he just sniffs Barney to death. <laughs> it's, it's so funny to watch, but Barney now they're like best friends and they've been playing around a lot. And we're super happy that they get on because Megan's actually going to be looking after Barney next week. Good boy. But yeah, anyway, I'll film a little bit of um, Barney and Arlo playing because it's literally so funny, especially if you go in Meg's garden, Barney they really love playing together. Uh, I also completely forgot to say that we let Barney off his lead for the first time earlier oh. this week. Was or was it last Saturday. week? Oh yeah, last Saturday. Oh, did you? <laughs> That's so cute. But yeah, we let him off the lead for the first time in this field near us. Um, and it was so wonderful. Like I, <laughs> I started crying because it was so cute. Like seeing him all free and running about, especially with Meg's dog. Oh, so Meg's cute, right. weren't you? He's so lovely, and he's literally been so well behaved as soon as we take him off the lead. So I can't, we couldn't ask for anything more, really, could we, Barney? Especially after how naughty you've been over the past couple of months. everyone so it's Friday two days before I'm heading to the airport for my trip to Guatemala um, I just thought I'd film this week sorry it's been a bit all over the place but hopefully you've enjoyed seeing my first ever graduation us chilling and walking the dogs and honestly my camera is so messed up I have no idea if you can see me right now this is not ideal <laughs> anyway I'm just gonna have to hope that you can see me because my flip screen is messing up my it's not a great time for my camera to be fucking up before I go to Guatemala, but what can I do now? I can't really send it off this quick. So anyway, I haven't properly looked in this monster Gusta box. I enjoy getting them. They get me really excited to try new things and stuff. So here it is. It's this big box of food and drink. Um, it costs usually, I think, 12, 13 pounds a month, which is obviously um, a relatively affordable subscription box. But if you use my code down below, you can get your first box for half the price. So around six, seven pounds, you can get your own Degusta box and you literally get tons of shit for a low price. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I've got this month. Sometimes there are themes. Um, this month is picnic themed because obviously it's summer um, and it has all of the bits and pieces that are in the box here but I don't want to look at that just yet because I want to have like a first impression. I actually opened it the other day but I was so busy I literally couldn't even look in the box so here we are. So we've got ooh, Mr. Freed tortilla chips, beetroot with onion flavoured. They're gluten free, vegan and high in fibre. So these look like healthy crisps essentially. Um, I feel like I'd actually really like these, you know, so I'll hopefully give those a go. I can take some of these snacks actually to the airport with me, to be honest. And um, what else have we got? Oh, wow, Calo. I've tried stuff from this brand before from the Augusta Box and it's actually really good. Um, I think it's the rice crackers that I've tried, but these are Belgian milk chocolate rice cake minis. Oh, that's so cool. All these things are picnic themed. So these are all really cute if you wanted to go for like a healthier picnic, I guess. 
yeah oh wow this is so cool so i've now i've got some round trees randoms but the sour ones i didn't even know they did sour ones of these but my boyfriend really loves them so i'm definitely going to be giving these to him because he will be around later he's coming back from london to see me before i'm off to guatemala um we've got some crunchy coconut bites these look interesting they've got sesame seeds in so i'll give those a go um, I'm not a huge fan of coconut, like on its own. I like it if it's in like a smoothie or something like that, but not usually like coconut bites. So we'll see if I like that. We've got some, wow. I love peri peri chicken. I like hot spicy things. So I've got this Simply Cook Peri Peri Chicken three step cooking kit, which is obviously fab for university students. It says that it serves two to four people and it has like other ingredients you could have if you wanted to make it into a meal and stuff. So that's cool. Um, I, I, I think this is such a good subscription box for students, like me, Hattie and Megan always get it when we're at uni because it makes us so excited. Um, oh, I've got some more round trees random squishums. Oh, I think these are like different, I don't know, different to the usual ones. I'm not a huge fan of randoms but like I said I'll be able to give them to my boyfriend. This is so good, Aiden's going to be so jealous I've got this, but I've got some Frank's Red Hot Sauce, which I'm definitely going to save to take back to uni, to give bit, things a bit of flavour. I don't like buying stuff like this myself when I'm at uni, because I'm like, oh, it's usually super expensive, like just for a sauce, so it's nice to get stuff like this in my Degusta boxes. Um, I've got this huge bottle of Ribena Frusion Blackcurrant Water, infused with kiwi. This sounds absolutely delicious, I'm buzzing about that. Um, I have... What do I have in here? Oh God. Ravish pineapple and yuzu salsa. That's interesting. I feel like my dad would really enjoy this. So yeah, I'm gonna show all this to my family later and everyone can pick stuff they like if they want to. I feel like I might as well whilst I'm here because obviously I don't have the girls with me. Then we have lots of amazing things that are quite expensive this month. Um, we've got butterscotch syrup for speciality coffee. So I've got some like coffee syrup. That's so cool. I'm definitely going to take this back to uni as well. It's in like a nice fancy glass bottle too. Really appreciating that. And then we've got, oh sick, Greek style flatbreads. So like if you were having a picnic, you could take like some meat or some vegetables and stuff. Make your own little, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, but yeah, that's all my things from this month's Augusta box. I'm well happy with all of that. That must come to quite a lot, you know. Okay, well, this box came to about £23, which is insane considering you pay like £13 or even £6 for it. So that's absolute madness and it gets me trying lots of new bits. So thank you very much for this month's Augusta box, even though I did buy it myself. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to sort my hair out because I'm going into town. We're going to like sort of a town near to us um, because it has a few more shops and we're going to go basically get our brows done. Me, Megan and Lucia are heading to go get our brows done and um, some other bits and pieces that we need to do. I'm going to get some last minute bits for Guatemala just to prep myself. Mum's also got me lots of bits I'm actually going to show you. Has laid them all out nicely on my floor for me, bless her. She got me the rest of the stuff for my little mini personal medical kit that we've been advised to get. So I've got some insect bite and sting relief because I'm definitely going to need that as I get bitten to death all the time. Apparently, I've, I've researched it the other day, um, apparently my blood type's the most prone to getting insect bites, so that sort of like gives an explanation as to why I get bitten to death every single year I go on holiday, or to like a hot climate. So I've got insect bite and sting relief, Savlon, um, antibacterial gels, Is that, are they both antibacterial gels maybe? Yeah, I think so. Um, We've got some Compede, which is amazing. These are amazing for blisters. If you've never tried these before and you're prone to getting blisters with new shoes, you need these in your life. They're a little bit more expensive, but so good. Got some antiseptic wipes, wipes some mosquito um, repellent bands, paracetamol, plasters. Got some repellent spray, which always smells horrific and then I've got some hand wipes which are definitely going to come in useful so thanks mum for stocking me up bless her she um did this whilst I was at work yesterday so she's so cute <laughs> had a little break because we've been shopping yeah yeah no do it now we're just waiting for Lucia she's just gone to do some bits potentially my favorite purchase of the day so far don't show me okay yeah 
they're incredible. We both pointed them out at the same time, which is they're mad. Like on different shelves. Yeah, on completely different shelves. Um, Stunning. I just love. They're quite, they feel quite lightweight as well. Yeah, they look beauts. Yeah, they look like they're going to be heavy, but they're really like beautiful. Stunning. Just, just a good price. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Topshop was our first stop. Some bargain. Yeah. Absolutely. This little spaghetti strap. Oh fuck. Spaghetti strap crop. Stunning. Three pounds. Three pound bargain. We were saying that that in Topshop would be like a tenner. Yeah. Just because of the spaghetti this, strap. Which actually had a red tag on it. It was half price. Wow. A little pink crop. I thought like with the joggers I'm wearing now, just like when I'm chilling. Two pounds. Two pound bargain. This little oh. Nord number. <laughs> Just, Just casually in bra. I love that coral. Clips at the front. It looked really good on as well. And it's got like um. Trust me. I think it's called a racing bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the eclipse at the front. Just That's like different. Quite a cool back. To yeah. This. Oh wow! You would never believe that's Primark. No. Eight pounds. <laughs> love the chain. And love really the saddle. Really, I haven't got a small black bag. I always go for like patterned ones. Yeah, stunning. And lastly, a nice big pink makeup bag that I've needed for ages. Yeah, it looks good quality as well. Like yeah, it looks like quite thick. One that won't get dirty because it's like lovely. Yeah, that material. Right, so my aim was to get a few bits for Guatemala, but I ended up with a few extra things. <laughs> a few little sneaky bits. Um, so I've got this from Topshop, a little basket bag that I've wanted for a while, something like this, but it was in the sale for a tenner, so I was like... From Topshop as well, like... Amazing, and I was thinking barley What was it originally? I think it was like 25 quid, Fuck me. which I would never have paid yeah. for it. But Beautiful. Tenor, you'd get that, like, I'd paid a tenner or misguided for it, but yeah, yeah. Topshop's got the more quality. Good quality, yeah. So I went for that, then... We look, so, we look so weird right we now. so weird. Um, then I got these. <laughs> then I also got these from Topshop. These are all, Topshop have like a really good sale on at the minute. Beautiful um, for what? Beautiful for what? Very like lightweight, thin, will dry easily if they get wet. Um, just really nice material. Linen, aren't they? Yeah. yeah linen, very comfortable. They're they from Topshop. Really nice, yeah. yeah. And they were 20 down from like 40 or something. And you ridiculous. know they're good quality too. Yeah. So they're going to be like very um, durable on my trip. Yeah, yeah. Then Primark, I got two of these tops because um, my lecturer suggested wearing long sleeves as much as we can because to stop like insect bites and just get in generally whatever. Um, and these, and these have like puff, they're white. It's white. Is it balloon sleeve? Puffy balloon sort of sleeve. Yeah, like, not so crazy, just yeah. subtle puff. Yeah, I tried them on and it wasn't that hard. Good for the heat. Yeah, super comfortable. I just like sized up because I didn't want it to cling to my body. Yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be really cold. When you're sweating, yeah. And then finally... Some hiking yeah, trousers. Some hiking trousers. I've got some khaki cargo trousers. These were full price, but only 15 pounds. Ideal. Um, sized up twice because prime. There was no other sizes. And, yeah, there was no other sizes, so I just went for these. They're cuff at the bottom. Got yeah. loads of pockets for convenience. Are they actually real pockets? Yeah. Wow, that's good. They've got some at the back and the front. They've got six pockets on there as well, which would be good. Lovely. Tra like travelling about. And I tried them on with the white and they looked really good. So, yeah. A successful shopping trip so far. Did you get, you didn't get any jewellery or anything? Crazy. No. Oh my god. Uh, and this. Oh yeah. I'm now back from town. I literally just got my brows done at this place called Zara Beauty. I've had them done there, I think, once before, and I usually get them done at Benefit, but um, Lucia and Megan's favourite place is to go to this Zara place. I was like, oh, why not? Look at a brow tint and wax. It literally looks amazing. I'm so pleased with them. I just sort of wanted to get them sorted out, not particularly for Guatemala, because I don't. I know I don't need to look the best there, um, and I'm probably not going to be wearing much makeup and just going to be very lazy and whatever. Obviously, I don't need to make a lot of effort at all with it. Um, I just sort of wanted to do it for my own, like, I just like getting my brows done, basically. And now Aiden's here, and we're just about, well, Aiden's just watching my Romania vlogs because he's jealous that I got to go to Romania, and I'm just about to sort all my Guatemala stuff out. I've got some stuff on the bed so far. I've printed out all my documents that I need, got my passport, everything, um, just getting some of my clothes and bits together now. Aiden's kindly brought me his big rucksack that I'm going to be taking as my main bag for my luggage. So, yeah. Out. 